Okay, Luther, but we better get going before we're late for school. Luckily, <laughs> Dotto will be late for school. The schoolhouse is over here. Freddy, did you bring everything you need for school? Of course I did, Luther. In fact, I'm ready for a great day. And I hope you are too. I've had my breakfast. I've got my books. Comb my bin. Check out my looks. Ready for learning. And to have some fun. Heading off to school. Where are all the guppies? We're hiding. The guppies say the school is haunted by a ghost and that the ghost is stealing their toys. I saw the ghost, Mrs. Croker. It stupefied me with fear and then it stole my toy. Boom! Ah! Hey, that's my toy! Oh! That couldn't have been real. There's no such thing as ghosts. Luther and I will find that so-called ghost and get back all the toys. Good luck, Freddy. to scare us. I'm really glad Mrs. Croker decided to stay with us. She's great. That ghost scared me out of 10 years growth. And I'm not even done yet. I hope Freddy and Luther can solve the mystery and get my toys back. How did you get to be so brave, Freddy? I know we can get to the bottom of this so-called ghost business. <laughs> You just never know when a pair of plastic-coated safety scissors will come in handy. are my plastic coated safety scissors. Ah! Hey Luther, that was the ghost! Let's get it! Hey you, stop! Oh! Whoa! You better look out! I'll be back to get that toy! Freddy, he almost got away with my Codfish Commando action figure! Why does that ghost have to steal kids' toys? Look, it's part of the ghost! Luther, I don't think that ghost wears sheep! Whoever is scaring the guppies is just wearing a ghost costume! Hmm... I've got it! 
Let's build a trap to catch that phony. See, we already have almost everything we need. Huh? This is a list of all the things we need to build our trap. We'll just need to get a trident, a diver's helmet, a mock stock mibblebock whopper bopper, a cork, and a rope for our trap to be complete. What luck! We found a purple sea urchin! Hey, it's another purple sea urchin. Just pulling out the cork is definitely not going to work. about untying knots. We may need it later. It's a book about untying Bopper to you from me. The theater looks packed.
Skis are always fun. Original, chocolate, sea cucumber, lemon, orange, red, and new fat free. Grab them, cause you gotta have them. Trophy I won for the deep sea spelling bee. I was going to pick it up after school today. Darn! The trophy case is locked. I wonder who we could get the combination from. Hey, I think this fell off the back of the lock. It says to get the combination to this lock, show this card to Mr. Triplefin. So, if we show this card to Mr. Triplefin, he'll give us the combination. Hello, sir. You're a genius. I know. <laughs> Sergi Sturgeon won four gold medals in the all-ocean powerlifting competition. This plaque says King Crab donated his pearls to build this Hall of Fame. <laughs> Sergi Sturgeon won four gold medals in the all ocean. Hector Tetra invented the kelp calculator. I'll bet there's a neat story behind that, Polly. 
only come down to the sea, my friends, to the lonely sea from the sky, from the port bow of a tall ship that sailed from Paraguay. That looks like an interesting pulley. The Flying Dutchman's captain found true love, you see, and had no need to sail no more, so he sold me this here pulley. Hey, Barnacle Bob, tell us about that pulley. It's from the schooner Hesperus that sailed the wintry sea. The skipper had taken his daughter along, and she sold this here pulley to me. It's a list that shows what we need to build our trap. We'll still need to get a trident, a diver's helmet, a mock stock mibblebock whopper bopper, a cork, and a rope. These are my plastic coated safety We need to give this business card to Mr. Triple Fin. We are rhyming abounds in your pulley emporium. Just point to a pulley. I've got a whole store of them. Hey, Barnacle Bob, tell us about that pulley. This pulley come down to the sea, my friends, to the lonely sea from the sky, from the port bow of a tall ship that sailed from Paraguay. That looks like an interesting pulley. A pirate fish had this pulley and would not give it away. Until I won it fair and square in a game of underwater croquet. Hi, kids. What can I do you for? Hey, Ray! How's business? You probably heard that I am now a collector of fine new and used trophies. And I'm uh, trading one other specialty item. A Mockstock Middlebock Whopper Bopper. A very hot item, I might add. Luther! That's one of the things we need to build the trap. How much does a Mockstock Middlebock Whopper Bopper go for? This is way under my cost, but since you're such swell-looking kids, I'll let you have it for one slightly used trophy. I think we could probably find a used trophy. And over here, Luther. This diving helmet will be great for our trap. Ugh. Hey, Luther, how about giving me a hand? I really appreciate the great job you're doing. No, Luther. This helmet is snagged on the kelp. Help me break it loose. Oops. <laughs> Silly me. Whew. How are we going to get the helmet for our trap? I'm sure there's a way. We just have to think of it. Here, Luther. Snip ahoy, Captain. It's loose. We need to get four more things to make our trap. Electricity, 
I light up big sparks, it's so easy for me. So don't you come around here, shut your eyes with a snap. Unless you want to see that big Eddie Zap. Living underwater is what bugs me the most. You wake up in the morning with soggy toast, and the frying pan never really gets that hot. I can't keep the lid on my cooking pot. These are my plastic coated safety scissors. You need to get the list. Ahoy, Captain Schnitzel! How's the submarine? Going nowhere fast, <laughs> but that's okay. It gives me time to zing my z ditties. Sailors are known to be mean, coarse, and surly, but we're always polite when we're out with our girly. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. May we have that rope for our trap, Captain Schnitzel? Yeah, you can take it if you can untie it. Even I have never been able to untie that verschluggen or not. <laughs> Oops. We need to pull on the ends of the rope to untie it. That can't be right. We're not having much. Oops. Oops. Looks like we're all keep going like this. Wow! Yay! Now we have the rope we need for our trap. We need three more things to make our ghost trap. Mr. Triple Fin's business card to get the combination for the lock. Hey, Freddy! It looks like we struck oil! Non-toxic biodegradable oil, to be exact. So how do you like it? I call it the wet look. Just toss the oil over here. An urchin, pick it up, and all the day you'll have good luck. <laughs> Even if I used all my strength, I couldn't leap that far. That 
tide pool is just too far away for me to jump in. Hooray! We made it to the other side! I got a friend of mine by the name of Ed Salmon. Yeah, we just sit around in our rockers and play backgammon. The game's real good and the company's fine. Even though he cheats most of the time. Hi, Mr. Triplefin. Hey, kids. Mr. Triplefin, do you have the combination to the trophy case lock? Well, dip me in gravy and call me a biscuit. You bet I do. Uh, may we have the combination? It depends. I seen lots of locks in my time. You'll have to get me a business card with a lock serial number. These are the things. Watch this. Hey, you giving me the business? Your business card, sir. Well, so it is. <laughs> you boys will be wanting the combination to the trophy case. Excuse me, sir, but I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. Hey, that's a coincidence. So's Mrs. Triplefin. Thanks for the combination, Mr. Triplefin. <laughs> to the old ruins. A science magazine and glasses to read it with. Ah, life is good. I'm always thinking about things so I can't fix. Other kids don't always think they're so terrific. They won't play with me and they call me names. Cause I'd rather read the rules than play the game. That pipe could be useful. I always wondered how it'd feel to get your head caught in a pipe. And now I know, it feels bad. This pipe sure is stuck on tight. We'll try to get it off you, Tucker. Oh, Luther, give it all you've got. This is all I've got. A 
drop of oil might do the trick. Ah! Oh my gosh! No head! We must be yanked and clean up! It's not in here! Poor Tucker! I hope he gets a head light, because he sure doesn't have one now. Sure I do. It was just stuck in my shell. Whew! Are we glad you're okay. Thanks to you kids. There are things that I do to make the time fly. This I tell you, it is no lie. I like to read and to swim real fast. And when I do both, I have a blast. That statue is holding a trident. Just what we need for our trap. Hey, this statue is really attached to that trident, isn't it? It's not that, Luther. The trident is being blocked by the ceiling. It's a pipe. <laughs> I always thought that low overhead was supposed to be a good thing. Not in this case. The trident is blocked by the ceiling. It's a pipe. We can get this lock open now. when I won this trophy. Gee, it looks expensive. It looks like it's made out of gold. No, Luther. The trophy isn't gold. Only the memories that go along with it. Ray 
you won't believe this, but I just happened to have a slightly used trophy. Hmm, nice quality. Kid, you just made the deal of the century. Gee, Freddy, sorry you had to give up your spelling bee trophy. I know how much that trophy meant to you. It's okay, Luther. I remember how special it was to win it, and that's what really matters. Two more things and we'll have everything we need to build our ghost trap. It's a pipe. It's the muck stuck milk. would fit great where that cork is. I don't know, Freddy. It looks kind of small. Jumping jellyfish. It worked. I told you it would fit. Now there's only one more thing we need to build our trap. Yes, Gwen Father, we know you never had a toy in your whole life, but... But we can't get you any until the kids are out of the classroom. <laughs> well, the kids haven't left yet because of that Freddy fish. <laughs> yes, Gwen Father, no more excuses. We'll do what we gotta do. Uh, boss, uh, just what do we gotta do, huh? We gotta get rid of those kids! If you guys don't stop nosing around the schoolhouse, the ghost will turn you into a couple of fish sticks. Uh -huh. I'm no jellyfish. You can't scare me. However, you can scare me. Well, don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> It's the muck stuck nibble buck what? This low ceiling is driving me crazy, Freddy. Yeah, I've never been much of a low ceiling fan either. It's the muck stuck nibble buck whopper bopper we need to make. It's a list that shows what we need to build our tr We still need a trident for the trap. This one won't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yay! Yay! We, we got, got the trident! Let's go catch that ghost! We're ready to make our trap, Luther! That's just about everything. Luther, can we use your toy as bait? Well, okay. Our trap is complete. Someone's coming. Hey, boss, look, a toy. Let's grab it. Now, Luther. <laughs> to scare the poor little guppies and steal their toys. The squid father told us to, cause he's never had any. You should know that you can't just take things that belong to someone else. Uh, duh. you know, she just might have a point there, boss. Okay, you can give back the toys. The squid father doesn't need the toys as much as the guppies. Here, give this to the squid father. He should have at least one toy. Come on, Luther. Let's take these toys back to the guppy. Look what we you found. You found the guppy's toys. Hit it, hooray! We solved the mystery, Mrs. Croker. There wasn't really a ghost haunting the school. It was just those sharks pretending to be a ghost. Congratulations! You saved the school! Thank <laughs> you. 